Hello, everyone out there. You can hear the music. You can see me. You can see Kyle from 2009. Uh, Jason's here as well with Hot Dog and the Mac and Cheese, freshly yes. down his throat. Um, we are we are ready to go. Um, folks, we're playing some... Uh, this is Fire Emblem. Uh, we're playing through Fire Emblem 7, Path of uh, Radiance. Uh, it's... Blazing blade, blinding blazing blade, right? Blazing blade, blazing. Because every freaking time I go to type in the category on Twitch, in I pause for a second, yeah, and I go, "Is it Fire Emblem Binding Blade or Blazing Blade?" That's six. I think technically in Japanese but it's reckoned. It doesn't 10. have the numbers on there. It just says Fire yeah. Emblem. That it was only like, least, every it, time. I think in North America it was only referred to as uh, just Fire Emblem. That's why. That's wild. But in uh, Japanese, okay, I think me... it's Blazing Blade. Let me switch over to the game, which hasn't loaded yet. There it goes. Perfect. Um, oh, that, okay. Kyle, for the stream, please introduce this beautiful dog. This is Nightwing. She's a X racing Greyhound, uh, and she has anxiety. <laughs> Don't we so all? She like <laughs> she like whimpers, and her her lower jaw like of her muzzle will like like it'll like clatter. <laughs> Um, and she she bows when she wants something. When she how long has she out. been? How long has she been retired? From racing? Oh, probably more than six years. Oh I wow! Think. Yeah. What age do they retire at? I don't right. know. It's probably not my really young. <laughs> I was I was to say probably one or two. Oh, you can restart. This. Yeah. That's a... Oh yeah. Sorry. You're good. God. Hey, I this is a good. Time. This is exactly what you want to do. This is a good. Make a mental note of like this this first move because it's a pretty good move. Uh, yeah, let me. Uh, I'm already impressed. If that was what you did off stream, you've impressed me. What move down there? No, we did that last time. I know, but I can still be impressed. But it's man. also because uh, last time. Uh, how do I reset this game? Oh, there we go. <laughs> this Game Boy. How do I reset it? <laughs> Um, yeah, because last time I said I would move down there, and you said that's exactly what you would do. So, so I would I do it every time. Yep. Rather pumped about that part. Yeah, the middle island gets strategically compromised very quickly, we'll say. So it's easier to try to get out of there. It's You can start bottlenecking units a little bit easier. Gotcha. I'm excited. Uh -huh. Actually, one of the few times I think you protect, it's a defense unit for like a defense chapter for a green unit. Does not happen very often in FE7, but the story of this chapter is Merlinus is a merchant. You saw him in the previous mission. Merlinus. Merlinus, yeah. Uh, he is a merchant and he's getting attacked by bandits and you're trying to protect him. So uh, that's the story. If he dies, you actually get a game over. Uh, wow. I've had that happen on an iron man he'll just get fucking he gets like one shot his stats are terrible that's wild okay we're weak we're uh it's two weeks since i last played this game so i'm okay. trying to remember um who's my good people who's my bad people who do i okay guy you're pretty good hector's pretty good rebecca i remember not liking you or something um, yeah. So usually if I like if I'm trying to take into like account like this mission uh usually what I would think is like okay like where am I trying to get to with Merlinus and then how do I want to funnel people in and then who's going to block people off is what I would mentally doing like check boxes for that. So like you already kind of said you already have the right idea of moving him down. So the mm -hmm. next step in that that checklist would be okay, who is going to hold the spots that you're going to blockade off like if it makes any sense so like you have that upper bridge right there you have the right bridge and you have the left uh left spot um, so this is the only place they can come through this is the only place they're gonna eventually hit that bridge down yeah and then up there so you have three spots you kind of need to account for so your check checklist should be okay who is going to stop them from going in those spots uh, who's best suited for that? You can sub them out here and there, but if they get hurt or something. I mean, there's I also a village. There's also a village in the top right, just in case two weeks has kind of befuddled that. 
Um, and that inc that has money in it is pretty good to get that money because is, okay, is it ten thousand? I think it's ten grand. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, Did you send uh, Marcus up? Yeah. And yeah. Marcus can pretty much Sorry, solo I'm like, I'm his. A little bit behind on the stream. <laughs> You're good. Marcus is pretty much. Marcus can pretty much solo that entire side to get there, but yeah, um, yeah. But other yeah, than my that, plan I kinda was want, I, I, I kind of want you to give it a go, but I just kind of yeah. give you like a checklist of how I would mentally start this chapter. No, I was kind of thinking about it because I, I I definitely remembered it when I was thinking about the show today, um, and I think that helps is ending the show at the beginning of a mission and going over it. Yeah, and then that helps me think about it during the week, yep. and then we just start the next show with it, like starting. Up Especially when the missions start getting more and more complex, it's gonna Ooh, be really alert. nice for you to. I know, dog. <laughs> so this is Jules. I don't know that much about her because uh, she's new. Um. <laughs> yeah, but she runs she, the Jules, alright. Also has anxiety, and she Aww. wears onesies because her skin is very sensitive, apparently. Um, Aww. and she's super destructive. Uh, so, like, <laughs> she just tears everything in front of her apart if she's like at all anxious. Um, oh. the the room that I'm staying in is like a it's not a guest room it's more like a like a a music kind of video game room so it's got soundproofing on the inside and the outside and the first night that I was here she tore up two of the soundproofing panels in front of the door and was because wow. like I was I had the door closed. So like is uh Damn. Crazy. That's wild. Is uh, yeah. uh so the first one was Nightwing. Mm hmm Jules. After Jules. Batman. And then <laughs> sure. I assume Nightwing, right? Yeah. I guess it's yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh and then Jules is Pulp Fiction, right? Um so is that Jules? It's it's, it's run it's the J Jules J will. Yeah, J E W E L S. Oh. Like, as in like like a ring or something. Gotcha. Never mind. Not J E L S. I thought I was, yes, I thought but... I was on, on some. Um, that is a good how name. Do I, how do I move Merlin? Is? You can pick him up. Pick him up. His yeah. con is oh, okay. very low. Okay. Okay. So okay. most people can pick him up, especially mounted units. I just want to make sure I was doing that. You could have someone cool. grab them or drop them. Or yeah. So if you if you really want Lowen to be available next turn, because instead of wasting his turn dropping him off, you can have some a buddy take him and then grab Merlinus with take, and then just dump him the same turn, which is really nice. So he's good. Pooped him. Pooped him. Come right out. You perp. You perped out. You pooped out of Merlinus. <laughs> I, I gotta call my doctor. I pooped out of Merlinus. <laughs> Oops, all Merlinus. <laughs> Uh, Mer Merlinus, we're, we're going to talk about him a little bit more. Uh, he's actually a really good unit in this game um, because he's free. Uh, he's a hoe, I guess. I don't fucking know. Uh, he's good. Um, he's, he's very useful. There's a lot of things to help you out. I'm glad you said Merlinus before I had a chance to pronounce it because I was looking at it and I was going to say Mer Mer Merlinus. Uh, yeah. And I knew that was wrong. Ooh, Oreo. What's on it? He just says Oreo. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sorry, all the compression wasn't loading it. It looked like a shape. <laughs> the, the shape. Is Ooh, that that's better? so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's better. It, it no, because I recently yeah. got those cosmic ones that like had like oh, yeah. different stuff on it. Um, sometimes Karen and I are bad people, and we. Uh, I've never heard of we that. We get a pack of Oreos, like every other okay. month or something. No, every other week. That's that's like the most normal. Most Bro, whenever, thing ever. whenever I get three half gallons of chocolate milk when I go to the store, <laughs> which I do get, uh, this is how it is. I get a, okay. uh, I get a tray of cookies with them too. So I go, I go out of the gas station with my milk and cookies as a fucking thirty-year-old adult. It's very I... fun. I sometimes wish uh, I didn't have Karen who constantly like like make sure I eat healthy because I would love to go to the grocery store and buy a ton of junk food. Um, so, but uh, we did just buy the um, good balance you can find, like churro churro chips. Oh yeah, what they're called, but they're extremely good. Yeah, there's definitely a balance. I feel like I used to eat an unhealthy amount of 
garbage, and now I eat a healthy amount of it, and it angers me because I just want to eat. The, the, uh, the logic I used to really help me break into running a lot more was, okay, I want to eat calzones. That's never going to fucking stop. It's just going to have to. It's going to be. So I have to run to keep that off. So that you don't you, feel bad when you Yeah, then I don't feel bad. That's are you, true. Are I didn't you a think fan of the, uh, the low cal calzone zone? Oh, I never get away. If I'm going calzone, I'm splurging. <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm, splurging. I'm, I'm going in. I don't. I, you, you don't. There's no such thing as a diet calzone. If I get a calzone, <laughs> it's going to be the most fucking gutted with grease it can be. I want that Lock as a bumper sticker. <laughs> there's, you don't half ass a calzone. That's all I'll say. Whole ass. You whole ass. ass. You <laughs> whole ass a calzone. <laughs> No, you whole ass two calzones. Might as well get two. If you're gonna get one, might as well get two. <laughs> it's okay. We had Costco pizza last night, and it's like m any pizza I order ever, I'll eat probably four four to five slices of That's Costco fair. pizza. Yeah. I ate like three, and I was like, I am done. Like, Bad I can't or just eat more. a lot? No, of them. no. Like it's there's it's so much pizza. Oh wow. Uh, it's it's fantastic. I love Costco pizza. I will say. Um, the pizza down here in Florida is atrociously bad. Yep. Like, I can believe it's that. really bad. Um, like, I can't believe that someone from the Northeast hasn't come down here and started like an actual pizza place. Uh, it's it's awful. Also, Domino's doesn't deliver to this address. That's also what? wild. What's up with that? But pizza when I was, does. Oh, no. like, I understand. When I was in uh, Miami shooting a documentary for our former employer, oh, that's um, fun. Yeah. <laughs> the devs there uh, were like, oh, yeah, let's order pizza. It's like our favorite pizza spot. And mm. it came and it was probably, it was like one of those healthy uh, microwave, like frozen pizzas. Like that's what oh. it tasted like. Oh, God. Like it was the most atrocious pizza I ever had. And I was like, if this is what you think is good pizza, I'm gonna blow your mind if you ever come to the United or to the United States to uh, New York <laughs> good City. Place. <laughs> I mean, Miami's basically not the United another States. country. <laughs> yeah, the, that's true. The the worst pizza I, I ever had was in South Korea. It's no who no, They didn't know. I don't think uh, they, they I, don't, I, that's understandable. That was like I feel bad. I was like, you guys do every you do Korean barbecue, exquisite perfection, probably the best I've ever seen. Obviously, but man, your your pizza needs some work. We had. We had pretty awful pizza in Moscow. Yeah, it was bad. Ooh, it was that. like not, not good. But they had um, a Johnny Rockets there That's... in Moscow that we ate at. That was like, I mean, it was Johnny Rockets. Like it was like very American. <laughs> but uh, Johnny yeah. Rockets. I hey, just see Johnny. like a Russian guy being like Johnny. They were dr they were dressed up like I think they did like American <laughs> accents or so. I can't really remember, but oh, so it was bad. Um, I mean, Jason, is it better to stand like here or on the actual log? Um, it'd be here, right? Because then only one person. Can... So brigands are weird; they can walk on water. Oh, so, okay. So Should they'll probably be able to walk forest? over and hit you anyway. I probably it doesn't really matter. His Oz when he's not gonna take any damage, no matter what. Probably he might okay. take like two damage. Uh, but you want to block off as much as you can, right there. Um, okay. So I'm noticing so, Ellie Wood. Uh, He's doing good. I know. I'm I'm trying to decide do I like put him here and try to heal him? Or he what is man? a vulnerary, right? So he How much points does that heal? Ten. He'd be at seventeen. I mean Marcus, I don't have to send this turn to go up. He could no, you don't. But fight some of these people. You can also what you could do if you're really worried about Ellie Wood is Grab him with like Lowen. That's the oh my other. So move guy. him down, grab him with Lowen, then heal him on the lower island, and have like Hector block the bridge for like a turn or two. Probably he Hector honestly could probably bro block the the bridge for the rest of the thing there. But you have to move Ellywood first. Yeah. Okay, Might have to so move I'd... Dorcas or Bart out of the way, whoever it is. Still. I'll bring him over. Yeah, he can help out with Oswin. Yeah, that's perfect. But you can move Elliewood as far as you can go, and then uh, grab him with uh, Lowen, and then um, 
can't throw away when you grab them, which is super nice. And then you can dismount them with Dorcas again. The fighter bros are really good at... If so... Really... Oh, sorry? No, I just... So I rescue him. Oh, yep. I can go right here. Yep, you can go right there. Grab him with Dorcas and then heal him the same turn. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Dorcas can just grab him off of... Uh, well, and just pick, picture it's like he's grabbing off, off horseback and then... Drop him on the ground. But if I'm dropping him, how does... Oh, oh. I'm, you know, I yeah. keep... I'm losing my mind. I keep forgetting she can move. I'm thinking yep. she can't move. Yeah. Um, there you go. That's going to be a very important like, to use, like when you're just trying to move people around and having them ready to go is very important for the next turn. Because if obviously if they're on the back, not only do the stats inc uh, decrease of your guy who's rescuing them, but they can't act the next turn unless they get danced. So... Uh, and then you, you just replace with Hector. Yep, and they're, that's perfect. Great turn. That was a very good turn. Now you can do whatever you Thank want with you. Marcus. Marcus, yeah, I might as well. He can, he can kill somebody. He can fucking run and start breaking the bridge. Uh, yeah, I'll start breaking the bridge because that guy might probably gonna attack me. Anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. Boom. Perfect. Yeah, the faster you get that, the faster he can come back down and help out. Because it's all then, about, like, getting the XP to the right people, but if I'm in a pinch... Ideally. Just having yeah. This that. This is a game that, um... You could bring Marcus to the end game and probably feel pretty happy about it. He's pretty good. There's a lot no. of good... Pre this, this game... Uh, has the... Probably the best pre-promotes in the series. I would... I don't think it's really close. There's, like, Penn, Marcus... Uh, hmm? Hawkeye is amazing. Uh, Hawkeye's um, great. There's a lot of good. He's also he's also super hot. Yeah. He's also got his own animations, which is sick. It's true. Yeah. Like custom animations. Yeah. So his, for some, his yeah. dodge is the best though. He's got a his. So for some reason they gave him a custom animation. I don't fucking know why, but they did, and it's kind of awesome. So for his class, I don't I don't know why, but it's cool. <laughs> That's. Fun. Maybe someone just really liked him. I guess technically Isadora has her own custom animation too, because you know, they don't have female calves in this game and she's a female paladin. So she's the only one who has it. Oh, you should, probably guess. shouldn't have the whole feel out. That's fine. He's not going to fight anybody else anyway. You would shoot a boy? Hey, oh, Matthew's, yeah. Matthew's older than Hector. No. Is he, he is. He can't be. That he is a small is. boy. <laughs> I hate it because, again, Hector's technically like 17. I disagree, Japan, but whatever. That is a man. Of, that this is guy's 17? That is a man. I'm sorry. Then arrest me, officer. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I, think, I think he says, like, I think in one of the supports with Ellie Wood, he straight up says, we've been doing every, like, summer since... Duel yeah, duel, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they've been, they, their like duel is like five to six or something like that. So you know, I was gonna make summers. a joke that he was born in the year two thousand, and that would make him super young. That's yeah. twenty four years ago. It's not. Yeah, it is. It's. It's really sad to think about. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I was having a discussion with somebody the other day. One of my one of the people on Save Data about what makes a millennial. And I was like, yeah, we're we're actually at the bottom of Millennials. Millennials goes up really high. Uh, but yeah. I think Chris might be almost Gen X, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> if you think about it. Because it's like 97, 96 is Gen X. Uh, so it's close. Yeah. What's crazy yeah. is Marcus is only 19. Yeah. Now. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Well, full, full if, if you're, if you're, wait, oh, five thousand. My bad. It, Damn, if, you both were wrong. If you're uh, if you're in Japan and you're over twenty five, you're basically you're basically ancient. <laughs> so that's really a joke. inflation. <laughs> like the game, they programmed inflation in the game. <laughs> like if you play it during certain months, like everything is lower. God, if I ever make a video game, I'm gonna program in the values to like slowly go up over like a. 50 year period that is that is something that like daniel mullins would do like yeah. i 
I love that sort of stuff. <laughs> you no, boot up great. inscription, it's like it's a, it's an accidental exponential scale, so it's just like yeah. five thousand gold for something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want. Okay, I'm um, sorry, I'm stalling. I got the five thousand. These guys just have to hold. I gotta move you in. Yeah, you've got plenty of people with uh, ranged weapons that can shoot over the top of Osmond, but holding Osmond there yeah. is perfect. Um, yeah, I got all those hand axes we bought last time. Yes, time. that is. I forgot about is those. Yeah, we went on a hand axe spree. Yeah, unfortunately, hand axes and handsy. javelins. Uh, hand axes and javelins are the best weapons in. Uh, probably. I mean, I prefer. I prefer a blow axe, but okay. if we got to do a hand axe, like that's fine. That's very clever. <laughs> I I I I really like that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I How do you want me to commentate that? after that, man? How do you want me? <laughs> <laughs> How do you compete with that? <laughs> I can't. Oh, Barbray with Bart the blow Ray. axe, getting a little nice and long and deep in there. <laughs> Oh, I hate it. Um, okay, is it worth having Rebecca be stupid? Uh, is she the mommy milker? She's the... Yes. Uh, she's... Okay. Yeah. So, so, do I risk her getting accidentally hit and one of those popping? Or do I... Oh, I mean, yeah. There's no point, because they're going to be able to shoot back, so... Well, you can just stand there and she'll shoot over the... So, you don't have to attack on this turn. Remember the uh, whole... So, you can check it and then, like... Oh, okay, just let her shoot back. She'll probably shoot him. Yeah. So you just stand there. True. You know? And everyone else is just going to stay where they are, I think. Yeah. I'd probably put a javelin on Oswin if you have one. How do I... I can just... Yeah, I just equip it. Or put it oh. to the top of the list. Man, this is one of those menus I'm too afraid to hit A here because it might do something. I never realized there was another menu here. Yeah. I definitely discarded an item before, which was fun. It might have been a Seraph robe instead of using it, so that was pretty painful. I feel like I'm used to, like, XCOM, where it's, like, or it's like modern turn-based games where you can, like, undo your whole turn. Um, yeah. Uh, later Fire Emblems do that, eventually. Yeah. Actually, in, I just realized in... Uh, I'm, praying, I'm praying, playing Breath of Fire 4, and that lets you, like have everyone's turn, but if you didn't like something, you can just go all the way back through all the characters and redo it. Okay. I think I'm just gonna end at that. I don't need to do anything else. More people coming. He f threw it at, like, full force. Oh, he's yeah. He's just, like, you feel he's, sorry for the he's, people he's he killing. <laughs> He's shaggy. He's only using a quarter of his power. <laughs> yeah. Showing off. Don't miss. Thank you. Okay. So this, th there is a funny chance that something would happen. I hope it doesn't. Yeah, I, I, I realize that all these yeah. people could come murder her. Well, she can't kill them, and she's fast enough to get knock a double. The only way she dies, ironically, is if she gets a two percent chance to crit. And faces more than one guy. So you would have to get unlucky in your luckiness, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we all know I get unlucky all the time. In yep. my luckiness. In you haven't had to restart a chapter at all, so. That is true. You've been doing pretty good. God, Marcus is such a fucking I'm that, monster. Uh, I'm that scared. I always think Marcus's palette is kind of cool. You don't get to see orange very often. It's very, very... Uh, it stands out. Actually, yeah. It's funny because most of the enemies are like red orange. So yeah. like he kind of blends in, but I don't. I think he actually might be the like one of the few people who wears orange in the GBA series, which is wild. Uh, I can't think of another one who blatantly wears orange in GBA. Um, because in in FE6 he actually changes colors. Uh, he wears purple. Purple. Which is also yeah, cool. I don't he actually think looks I good. Know anyone. Maybe. 
Uh, there probably is one in FE6. I'm not forgetting because there's like 80 people in that game. One of the pirates? I don't know. Uh, not in this game, no. Yeah. There's a guy who wears pink, and that's Geats because he's fucking awesome. Geats. It's like pink, purple, maroon, something like that. Okay. Yeah, so what you can do is just give Marcus a hand axe and just park him somewhere. He'll be a-okay. He's coming back from, like, the war. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> oh, he's also got the Draco shield, too. He's powerful. He's too powerful. I think he doesn't even need that. No, he doesn't. It would be kind of cool if you, if it's if if you held those items that gave you the benefit of instead of using them. It'd be an interesting like choice you would have to make between: do I keep my inventory flexible, or do I like have an item yeah. that like like permanently boosts me or something like that? Yeah, you should in, be talking to intelligent systems. Well, in later games, they. Even weapons that you can't use, so like in Fates, a good example is if you can't use their swords, they still give you like plus three speed if you're holding them. Oh, nice. Kind of cool. Yeah. I gotta get intelligence systems on the line before they uh, oh. make more Fire Emblem Heroes characters. Still leveled up. Defense. Oh my god, he got res. Yeah, because you can't resist. I think it's 25% his res. It's not great. Um, yeah, I'm good. You can still throw a hand axe at that guy if you want to. Cheeky little hand axe. Look at that. Daddy's cheeky little hand axe. Daddy's, daddy's hand axe. This is for my oh, wife! <laughs> oh, he crit! Damn, he crit That's everywhere. That's for the mutt, you poison, you bitch! <laughs> Oh. I like how Ellie was just standing <laughs> next to Merlinus, like, hey, so, uh, what are your wares? I think he's just doing. Yeah, he's. <laughs> Wingardian Leviosa. <laughs> yeah, he basically is. I think this guy, one of these guys has a steel axe eventually, I know that. Ooh. Ooh. He hit on a 58, that's pretty good. Yeah, he's been hitting those low percentages. Oh you know, God. 59. Good job, Alex. Oh, Oswin. Oswin with the level up. Get it all, Oswin. Oh, you got a speed. So lucky. <laughs> He's going to be my fastest character at the end of the game. Hmm. I'm gonna try, I can try to guess who that could be. It depends oh. on what you use. Damn. It probably should be Lucius or Lin in terms of their speed. Luscious? Luscious. He is Oops. very luscious. Why would you shoot Hector? He's beautiful. Kyle, who's the hottest guy in this game, would you say? I mean... To what standard? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, honestly... Who we fucking, Kyle? Who we fucking? <laughs> I mean, personally... I'd go after Hawkeye, but that's because he's like a shirtless buff seven foot he tall is. dude. He is. Um, he is a big dude. Uh, the Arch Sage. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, Athos? Honestly, is like, is if he wasn't 17 or whatever, uh, I, I would think he's fairly true. Actually, there is a thing at the end, a cutscene that takes place years later. Oh, with the. Yeah, I know what you're so, talking about. Yeah. And I like that version of Hector a lot. Yeah. Um, everyone else is just so young. Like, yeah, I don't know. Dorcas is like all right. But, but, like, Wait, really, Dorcas? He's just Dor okay. Dorcas, like, okay, yeah. Um, the king. But everyone else is like a child. So I would, uh, if you're gonna heal, um, you could have probably attacked and still healed this turn. I know. I was debating. You're fine. You're still. I like this. I like the pickup. Oh, I fucked it though, didn't I? No, you didn't. So you just, you just move Rebecca out of the way. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't know why I keep doing that to myself. We ask ourselves the same question. If you want, like, a... If you want, like, a twink, then probably Pent. I was sad. I'm surprised you didn't pretty, pick Pent. 
I think Pen he's Pen's pretty very, ha Pen's very a handsome man. Yeah, I mean, he is, but he's also like, I don't know. He's, he's married, he's dude. He's, yeah, and he's married, so. Uh, you know I, what they I say, what, what happens in the desert stays in the desert, so. Of course. <laughs> is, that, is that what they, is that what they fucking say? That's what I've been told. Oh, okay. I need to go into the desert. It was in the, it was in the player handbook. <laughs> um, you can move Marcus kind of in those woods there. He's never gonna die. He can These woods? Kinda like, yeah, might as well go track yeah, more you're people. Right. And he he literally can't die. You're good. Um, you got you're almost done yeah, with this chapter. I'm trying to. I was getting greedy. You're fine. You're doing great. Like I said, you've got every item. No one's close to dying. You did that one scary turn, but that was the first turn, so where everybody's kind of stuck on the Exposed. island. Yeah. The boss of this chapter is like to the left somewhere. His name is like Puzon, I think. Puzon. I think. Who's on first? What should we call it? I don't fucking know it. And I don't. Oh, is this a not a number of turns? I guess it is. Defeat a boss. Oh, I, oh, there's still a boss even though I don't have to defeat him. Yeah, he comes. I think on hard modes he actually moves. I think on Hector mode. Uh, maybe on Ellie Wood he doesn't move or he's very slow. That mage, for instance, on Hector mode, uh, Hector hard mode, he's definitely in a different spot. Because I've definitely um, that that mage is the only one who can hurt Oswin like, at all. Um, is it worth moving anyone, or am I? You, you just heal Hector, and then you'll be oh, you basically win. Yeah, you did a good job. Perfect. As long as you just get Sarah out of the way. That was basically a perfect uh, run. Did exactly what you needed to do. Okay, so I just looked up who I think are like the traditionally hot characters one is absolutely um uh crap, what's his name dart dart is yeah dude he if you look at his he's like he's like a surfer dude but he's got like a do-rag on for some reason even though it's he's a white. fuck he's a pirate man <laughs> I know, but he's like, but he's like. It's a bandana, not a do rag. It looks like a do rag. Uh, um, it does. It does look like a do rag. It's really long. Um, Heath. Heath. Pretty, you like the guy, the the metal, the metal artist? I, I'm not saying that I'm attracted to him, but oh, he's okay. got that look that like. Okay, the bad boy look. After. Yeah. Smolder. Okay. Smolder. <laughs> and then um, uh, Carol. With oh, Corral, yeah. Corral, yeah. Victory. Corral. Long haired. And wants to Ooh, murder is you. Is this guy going to be an unlockable character? He's very handsome. He is very handsome. Just like, just like <laughs> Heath. Yeah. He definitely had some work done. That guy might be wearing a do rag, though. <laughs> it looks. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. You'll, you'll know. You'll see that guy eventually. He's pretty, he comes up pretty quickly, the guy we're talking about. <laughs> Let's go, Hector. Wait a minute, please. Token of my thanks. I got all these blow axes. Blow axes? <laughs> yeah, instead of hand yeah. axes. Peddler! <laughs> Peddle your wares. He has like, uh, he has like a stars playing. Yeah, and... he's got like his own theme of like the Sarah song. Because he's a silly character. He's a silly boy. He's a silly boy. It looks like he owns a circus. I mean, his tent kind of is one. <laughs> so, what is having him let me do? So, if you, if you, it's easy to explain when he's on the map. But now you have a permanent convoy. So, so is it like, um, it's like uh, what's her face in the next game? So yeah, they have their convoy on, like, like on them. If it makes any sense, so you can just whenever you're at E from Erica, the convoy in FE Seven is on the map. So you go and visit it if you want stuff in the convoy. But if you get anything that, you know, if I have five items and I get an extra item, it now can go directly to the convoy if he's alive. But the enemies can attack him. Gotcha. Um, 
And if he if he survives the map, he levels up. Uh, and gets extra stats. And if he hits level 10, he gets a cart that can move around. Instead of just being a tent. We gotta get him a level 10, guys. So yeah, uh, <laughs> keeping him alive. And he's free. Like, it, it always says, like, do you want to deploy Maronis? I... I think there's almost like zero reason why you wouldn't. There's only like a couple instances where I'm like, the enemies will get distracted by him. And sometimes that's mm -hmm. good. They'll attack him and they actually can miss because they're fucking bad. And when Linus Does has he like have a, a lot of health? Uh, not really, but he actually has, he's actually surprisingly dodgy. His nickname is like mm. the Dodge Tent because he can, uh, uh, he actually does a better job than you would think. I somehow didn't realize this, but all but all but two of the antagonists that you meet throughout the game are women. Like everyone else is a guy. Uh, I mean that makes sense. I mean I think a lot of the games usually there's it depends. Well, so in this game it's well it's strange because I don't not to spoil too too much. Not that it matters because we're kind of explaining the story, but. It, it doesn't matter. Like one of the one of the morphs is a lady who's like statue esque, whatever. Yeah. The temptress. The mm -hmm. other morph is androgynous, so they, yeah, it's a create. Yeah. I mean, the fact the, that like the, her name is Limstella. Yeah, like, it's kind of sounds more. But he, he they never give her in Fe Heroes. They never define him or her. They just say like. This is my special, yeah, my specimen, yeah, it's my perfect specimen. The thing. Which is, yeah. yeah, and I can Playable see character. either, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, obviously, uh, Ursula. 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 And I, I would honestly say, I don't say Layla is not Layla is not a bad guy, but you think she's a bad girl at the beginning. No, because I was looking through to judge who was the hottest of the enemy characters, and I was like, these are all men. Uh, I think Lloyd is. It's Lloyd or probably Sonya or Ursula, unfortunately. Lloyd is uh, a very good looking man. So. I mean... Not this guy on the left. This guy on the left is, uh, he's got a nose that would fucking pierce the sky. I don't know. I think, uh, Bernard... Oh, uh, Bernard. Hey, Bernard. Which one's Bernard? I'm trying Bernard to find Lloyd. Where the fuck is... It's the White Wolf. Is his nickname? Cool guy. So, Molinus just kind of explained if you... I'll join you on the map. Now you mm -hmm. have uh, Fortune, which... What it does is you can, like, see your ranking. It's it's kind of... You're doing great. So, Tactics is how many, I think, turns. Survival is how many people are alive. Funds is how much money you spent. Like, there's an internal number where they want you to be under. Like a par. Yeah, and then XP is how much XP in comparison to that par. Like, you're divvying up to your units. And then combat is um, how many rounds of combat you actually, like, win versus, like, how many you're in. So if I'm... If if they're attacking someone who can't attack back, that's a round of combat. Uh, but it's, like, how many, like, rounds of combat you've done. So... Mm -hmm. but tactics right. is... Uh, year is just how many turns you've taken and it's an internal number it's so bullshit in this kidding. game no it's not that you're not good they just have a really annoying number dick on dick on baby <coughs> and you can Fly trade now now board. you can set up your item convoy you can make sure everybody's prepared in the way you want them to be so you can divvy up your items a little bit which is nice um, I'd probably drop off the energy ring and the uh, Draco shield and put them in your convoy because you're not going to use them yet. Do I hit trade or There's transfer? There's a transfer. Ooh. And then give just puts it where you need it to be. There you go. You can give him an iron axe maybe if you have an extra one too. Because oh. he's run out of axes a little bit. Oh, we'll get him one. Oh, yeah. He'll be fine. We'll get him one. Like, you don't need the torch uh, for this chapter, for example. Oh, I see. But what is he going to hold? No, he doesn't need to hold anything, just in case he wants to steal or, you know, yeah. you want to buy something. Um, What you're going to probably do is... I don't know how much money you have, but I would, uh, I would probably give Matthew the secret book. 
but because you're probably gonna sell that. Because you're gonna there's a shop on this chapter, and I think it's a very useful shop for you. And you can give him a lot of fun stuff. I don't even remember, what does the secret book do? Uh, boost your skill by plus two. It's probably, it's probably, it's probably the worst uh, of the items besides uh, Goddess Icon. It's not great. What does the Dragon Shield do again? Boost defense. your defense by two. Is uh, there anyone I item. should use that on? I've seen probably our, the probably the most useful one at the beginning of the game is uh, one of the Fighter Bros or Lowen is usually who I would recommend. Um, but you're past the point where you can save it for a little bit and use it on your favorite character. Okay. But Lowen, Lowen makes use of it probably the best, because, or any other Cav, because they're always up in front, moving around, taking a lot of hits. Uh, the Fighter Bros are good because they have a lot of HP, and if you give them more defense, then their HP becomes more useful than just being a stat stick. It's actually useful stats. Um, yeah, he says, like, yeah, he can't... Anything that automatically gets sent to the convoy, which is super nice. Yeah, it is. I would do it, because once he levels up, you get the cart, and then he yep. can move. This got heavily nerfed in FE6. So in FE6, Merlinus is also a cart. But he costs a convoy... Oh. He costs a deployment slot, which is just dumb. I, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. That, uh, tent sprite is, like... Yeah, it's awesome. Doesn't it? It doesn't have any dithering on the surfaces, so it just like <laughs> it looks like, like a pyramid from a. It's from a different game. It does. Weird. Yeah. It's like more. I think HD. it's also because it it fills up almost an entire square. Yeah. So like it just it stands out way more. That's weird. There he and is. That's a familiar face right there. Yeah, Mario. Yeah, I remember him from the. <laughs> uh, I forget what they're called. Asshole. Super something. But yeah. yeah. Super soaker. Mm. Super soaker. I hardly know her. <laughs> she has a name. <laughs> Kyle. Um, so yeah. Marietta? Um, so, <laughs> so, what this conversation is basically saying, I think he has like a escort. He's, he's guiding somebody and they're in the southern village. Um, because he's a guard. That's what he was doing for Sarah the first time. Now he's got a new job. Uh, but he's at the top. He's a green unit. Now, obviously, Not logic, since since this is a newer, or this is an older game, so I'm going to let you figure out. You could probably take some guesses on who can recruit that guy to your team by talking to him. You might know that guy on your team. Irk? Yes. And... Remember in Lin Mode, he had a, she had, he had a friend? Yeah. I'm, in quotation I... marks. <coughs> Was it? It's not... It, it's a, it's a, it, it is Sarah. I was gonna go it for is. Sarah, but I thought you said man. Yeah, Sarah can recruit him because okay. she previously was his escort. So, getting okay. Sarah up to him in turn one or two is, in my opinion, a very Great skilled idea. move. It's definitely possible. Um, there is ways to do it. Uh, we've taught you ways and methods to get people up and around quicker. Uh, there is another way to recruit Urk. Uh, I would not recommend this way, but technically his escort from the bottom village can recruit him. Uh, but that is way further away. So getting Sarah up there in probably one or a two whole turns. whole village of bottoms. Jesus, there's yeah. so many people. Yeah, this is a hard map. Uh, and, like, it's probably one of the harder early game maps. Now, like I said, efficient ways to move people are your calves and paladins. So if you want to move Sarah, sometimes you can use... Uh, these guys to move them around. So if you move Sarah, she's not gonna be able to talk to him this turn, but you can probably get her to talk to those guys or talk to her in one or two turns. Yeah. Couldn't you also grab him? Who? Well, you can grab him too. Yeah. I just like grabbing her because so, his place is more secured up there. Well, I'm debating whether I just said Marcus kill this guy real quick. Uh, I think Bart Ray or Dorcas can also kill him too, which. If any, if you can use somebody else that's not those guys, um, I would always choose to kill somebody else besides Marcus, because Marcus can... Marcus is like that, I want this guy specifically deleted, he needs to die, I have nobody else who can do it. Guy. Think of it like, I'm just uh, so scared. Yeah, no, I'm good. 
I usually default to him, but no, you're right. Uh, there's okay, also so some. Then... There's also some people to the right too. I don't know if you scrolled a little bit. Like you mean right where you people? start? No, to the right. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 oh. Just, just as a heads up, there's some. Sorry. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Because I knew. Uh, I think it, it, your camera for some reason doesn't like pan over the guys, but they are yeah. there. Okay, uh, so these are. Should I let them come to me, or should I go to them? Yeah, they're gonna walk over to you. They're they're bombs, dude. They're idiots. They all have lances, so I need to use axes. Yep. Or you know, lances or something like that. Part of their reach. Just gonna make a wall. Yeah, sounds great. If Oz is part of your wall, wall. Uh, something something tells me you've uh, you've done a great job. It is the wall character? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a wall. <laughs> wall i'm gonna i'm gonna swap hector for guy since hector has an axe cool. sounds great uh do you want to plan on how to get up sarah up there so we can kind of yeah i was gonna put her here okay and then have romeo grab her okay head on over here okay and then can you also remember how i said I they know. can't act if they're picked up who are you gonna you're gonna use marcus to, to get her off Whoa. Whoa. She is a young woman. Some would say a Claire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not using anyone to get her off, let's be perfectly clear. <laughs> um. Right. <laughs> I want... <laughs> First, let me uh, move Rebecca. Uh, calm down, sir. Where she can't do anything. Very good. That's the best. I think that's the optimal way to actually get her dismounted and right in position to talk to Urk. Oh. Now, I will say Urk is going to move. So He's going to move. Yeah, the that's turn the order. <laughs> yeah, the turn order is um, blue, green, and then uh, red. Which is annoying, but there's a chance he moves to the right. Is pretty conservative. Yeah. Green units are stupid, but sometimes I don't. I don't think Urk is oh that dumb. Oh my god. Jesus, Oswin. Yeah, Oswin's very. Dude, good. when people start consistently attacking twice, it's such a good feeling. I feel like Oswin at some point is like. Um, was the mountain from Game of Thrones where he like died <laughs> and he's just like dead inside of his armor? But still, like, going through the motions. That's really good. I got a good uh, level up. Yeah, speed on Dorcas is really good, because I think his speed grows like, a 25%. It's very bad. Oh, is that a shield that comes off of his yeah, chest? Yeah, it's, it's on his chest It's his plate. breastplate. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I just yeah, was paying cool. attention to it this time. Uh, so, small nitpick, but it's just something that, kind of, again, I don't want to pick on it. I got I always got to run it by. Um, all of those guys who attacked you only had one range weapons. So, oh god, that's really bad. Yeah, he basically he forces you to be in a bad position now. Yeah, but he should have been on a. I really so as a green unit, I wish you attacked from the right side as opposed to the fucking village. But he's an idiot, so we can we can alleviate that. Anyway, the small nitpick I was gonna say because it's gonna help you in the future. It's gonna save you. Let me money. write it down. Let me write it down. If the enemies all can attack you with one range weapons, there's no use use to have you had a hand axe and a javelin out. Oh. And those only have twenty uses each. And uh they're gonna break much quicker. Iron axes need... have like forty <coughs> uses. Um yes. I think the broader critique is that when I'm setting up characters to defend I need to check their item before I make them white. Yep, or check the enemies who can attack them. If they can attack from two range, if there was like a, like a couple bow guys there, I wouldn't have said anything at all. Yeah. 
but because it's better is... to have the hand axe at, out because they can attack the bow yeah. guys bow. and stuff and the melee guys yeah yeah okay it's just gonna save you money in the long run and it's honestly what's gonna be it, it's helpful so i don't have to keep saying like okay we're gonna go to the store and buy more hand axes you know like because that's what it really is so okay, the good so news theoretically, is oh, he shouldn't even reach him. That that's not your fault. That's literally nothing to do with anything that you did. It's it's the, the guy could have attacked from the other tile and helped you, but what you can do is rescue uh, him with uh, Marcus. You you can rescue him with Marcus, uh, and then um, you can pick him up, and then you can pick him up with Lowen or drop him off with Lowen behind right there. And that's perfection. There you go. Your perfection. Thanks, man. I've only spent most of my life wasting my time on this game. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Eric, it's been so long. Ugh. It's been so, <laughs> so long. He literally goes, ugh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Urk. When you're it's high not school even... It's not even like, oh, it's Urk. Yeah. It's been so long. It, it's like your high school crush that you had like you weren't interested <laughs> yeah. in. What are you like... doing here? Oh what my you... god. What are you doing here? Oh, oh Sarah, you're the last person I want to see. Oh, that's so sweet. You want to see me again? Did you she not follow me on Instagram? Um, legally blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Did you She's see my TikToks? The, uh... She would be a TikTok user, yeah. Do you want to be on my Be Real? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Come on, you can just see Lord Hector and Elliewood. Yeah, on like, the you. Perfect. Oh God. Yeah. So the logistics of who Urk works for is he works for Utru or like Etria essentially, and they're like a magic. Country, right? Yeah, they're like a magic country. Uh, they are a weird country in the, the, these two games, but basically they're like the academic crew and they're very strong, but they don't really do anything for both games. This, they're more useful in FE6, but yeah, I, I don't really like them. Uh, gotcha. But you're... Okay, these guys are all dead. I could just do another wall. Uh, another annoying part about this chapter that I haven't explained yet is rain happens again in this chapter. So oh, I forgot. Ugh. It's fucking awful. Uh, thank God they got rid of this mechanic. It's good for this chapter because there's a lot of mounted units, so they don't just descend on you very quickly. I think that's what they were trying to go for. Uh, it's still annoying. Don't get me wrong, but. I mean, well, that guy letting, doesn't need to be in range. I'm, I'm letting him cook. Uh, like I said, you've got a steel axe. Yeah. Brown boy eventually here. That's not a bad idea. Um, you've done a great job on this chapter so far. Like, you know, honestly, so like I'm not being... Long. Yeah, it's a long chapter. There's always room for errors. Don't worry. <laughs> Plenty of room. Plenty of room. No, this is a really tough chapter. And yeah. it's... This is probably the hardest chapter you've played. Uh, maybe besides Birds of a Feather, which is really annoying. Uh, Will, sidebar, have you started or finished uh, Halo Season 2? I haven't started or finished it yet. I need to. I've, I've, gen I've genuinely been busy. A, yeah. a little bit oh, of that is playing uh, Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, I was saying, mm -hmm. uh, And also, I'm doing some editing work, so. But I need to Ooh. I need to start. It's only eight episodes, right? So I need uh, to, yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I need to watch it. I'm gonna end up binging it. Wait, who, who have you been editing for? Uh, I've been editing for Nextlander. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. Uh, Vinny, Alex, and Brad. 
So, so now I know who to blame for all the horrible <laughs> you know. content. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I'm working on their Dragon's Dogma cut right now. Mm. Um, Vinny loves to just pick up people and throw them in the water. I mean, that <laughs> seems to be instantly most kills of what them. Twitter's obsessed with. <laughs> Game's so good. I can't wait to talk about it on, on uh, Thursday. Especially because Part I didn't me... get to talk about it last week. Oh, yeah. Part of me is, um, like, I'm kind of happy that I'm so far removed from it. Like, I don't have access to my PC, so I can't play. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm also just hoping that they fix... Oh, what are you playing on? Are you playing on PC or are you playing on um, console? I'm on the Xbox, so it's. Oh, okay. I haven't had any bugs or anything. Yeah, oh, I heard it, it was way smoother on consoles, but I'm hoping that they release a patch or two on PC before I can get my hands on it. The uh, Yeah, Did the you... low FPS is, is like, annoying, but yeah. it... I don't know if you, you ever played Dark, Dark Souls 1, but Blight Town was always like an infamous FPS mm. chunker in that game, and it, it honestly just reminds me of that. It's not inconsistent, so it's not annoying. It's yeah. just like, I know I'm going to this town, it's going to be a little bit, and I'm fairly used to it now. Sure. Are these reinforcements? Yeah, so they have guys that raid from the bottom right are pirates and then there's guys from like the mountains on the top left the heck? I have to kill them all uh yeah why don't the pirates and the bandits fight the armies <laughs> because that would be too complicated to have both um uh, red and yellow they don't have that complexity yet wow did this guy shoot at him and not hit no, he shot at uh, Bart Ray. Uh, so Urk, unfortunately, has for some reason he has a Thunder Tome, which hurts a lot, but it's pretty inaccurate. Hi, Lucha. Thanks for subscribing again. 18 months in a row? That's <laughs> wild. It's dirty. Uh, okay, sorry. Let me get my bearings. I was distracted by thinking about Dragon's Dogma and how I want to play that. <laughs> I have 35 hours in my game. Jeez. Great. Yes, Kyle with the cat. It, Kyle's in Jack's. Kyle's in Ian territory. It's scary. We, we had dinner. It, we had dinner. He could be attacked at any point. I felt Did very you? threatened the entire time, but he was like, we <laughs> he had a gun under the table. This, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. He kept screaming slurs <laughs> every five minutes. <laughs> it was so funny out. because. We went to that restaurant. It's like this local, like, Italian place that he had heard good things about. And it was fine. Like, we all agreed, like, it was fine. It wasn't anything special. And, um, the... I don't know if I... Did I post the, the video of the, the thing that they brought out for my dish? No. I'll, I'll put it on TikTok. I'll post the TikTok on Discord. But essentially, it's Cacio e Pepe which is great. Mm -hmm. Like, it's very standard. Like, it was, like, no frills. And I was like, oh, I'll just get the Cacio e Pepe. Lo and behold, at this restaurant, their Cacio e Pepe is normal Cacio e Pepe, but then they wheel out, like, a 55-pound hunk of cheese, and then they roll the Cacio e Pepe in, like, a, a divoted out section of the cheese, and then oh they scrape God. extra bits of the cheese and put it on top of the Cacio Pepe. And we, the table next to us ordered it. And I was like, I didn't realize that when I ordered the Cacio Pepe, that's what I was getting. And I was yeah. like making fun of them. I was like, who orders that? And I was like, that's such a crazy like thing to do. And then they they wheel it out for me. And I'm like, I'm so, I literally said in the video, I was like, I feel so embarrassed right now. Cause like everyone like looks at you. It's just so, so annoying. Oh my God, it was hilarious. And it was like, not good. I mean, it was, it was cheesy pasta. But I probably ate like 15% of it and then was like, no, like this is way too much. But, you know, let me, I'll post it in there. You have your healer up here if you want to attack there. Yeah. It I was, seemed like I you was, really want to. I know, I do. I've gone to it twice and I was going to ask you, okay. you know, second guessing myself. Oh, okay, I got it. He dabs, he man. 70 is pretty decent for GBA. It's not great. I, I think anything over 76, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with, usually. 
Not great. Not terrible. I keep wanting to zoom the map out. Desperately. Oh, I guess this still counts as food pixel. You can start That's grouping right, your guys it. more towards the left if you want. And if you really want, you can keep like Osman near the tent to like guard it, because there are going to be some people who who kind of go behind you a little bit. Okay, it's up to you. I'm just going to bring you people for. I know that's what you said, but I was already thinking. You You're good. Oswin, go make love to the tent. Sarah, I'm sorry, but I gotta put you right out here with everyone else. Um, yeah, just move her back actually, down if you're not sure. Yeah. I, just, I hate having healers close to my What, healers. combat? Combat, yeah. Your bar rate might double this guy, actually. Oh, wow. Well. He's leveled speed a lot. I, I, was, oh, I, was, I, was, I was pulling for him. Yeah, uh, if you're looking to like optimize XP right now, like I think Ellie would getting him some nice cheap XP if if possible early on is pretty nice because we're going for Geats, so we need to get him some XP when we can. True, you know I've been neglecting. Him. Nah, you're fine. I mean, hasn't been, he hasn't popped up many times. He's like level like what three? I'm so you know part of me's happy that I played through Final Fantasy VIII. Um, before I talk to you more about Final Fantasy games, because I was carefree and loosey goosey with that game, mm -hmm. and so I'm I'm half excited to go play that game again. Actually, trying to play Fire Emblem because I never thought about XP, never thought about uh, like like that higher level stuff. Like I, obviously, the Wait, weapon triangle, all that sort of stuff. You, but. Are you you're talking about Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy? Oh, Fire Emblem. I said Final Fantasy, didn't I? Because I, Sorry. Well, I was like, Fire we, were talking about, we were talking about Final Fantasy last <laughs> no. week. And I was like, is there a, is there like a, a, a top-down component to that game, too? Sorry. <laughs> Fire Emblem 8. Uh, sorry. All over the place. I did. I was playing good. Final Fantasy 7 for a bit. Like, yeah. Since Cease. Um, you're going to yeah. run... Uh, so, uh, not to scare you at all, but you're going to run... You, here's what you're going to do, and... Unfortunately, I kind of have to tell you this because there's no other way to do it without you knowing. This is just game knowledge. Uh, you have to run straight down here because with one of your guys, probably Hector or Bart Ray or something like that, because if those pirates get to that village, they'll destroy it. Yeah. And kill a character. So, and probably one of the worst characters that lose early. Uh, the character herself is okay, pretty good. He's not that great, but yeah. Uh, can I, I like her because she's mounted. Uh, I would not do that. Uh, no, I'm obviously not going to do that. Uh, but the reason that character is so good is she recruits a lot of characters. Or there's some early characters that are, are really helpful. So do I need to get to the village or do I need to kill the pirates? Uh, uh, either one. They'll, they'll attack you if yeah. you're in range of them. You okay. just need to start contesting that village with somebody. It's like chess. Cool. Contesting you the just send, send like one or two guys down. Yeah. And then can I just have Marcus? You could. He would kill all of these guys, which I'm not sure you want to have ha like do immediately. Uh, and the boss is right there, and the, this boss moves. Yeah. Okay. So... If you're in range. If you're in range, okay. he will move. And he's got a pretty strong weapon. I think he's got a silver lance, uh, which is kind of terrifying. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave these boys where they are. I would send your Myrmidon down or Dorcas or something. Yeah, you could send a couple people down. It doesn't have to just be Hector's job. I'll send Dorcas. Just no calves can have a surprising amount of movement, these guys coming up here, so. Yeah. You're gonna probably have more people hitting fine. you. Yeah. I yeah, you're gonna have people, yeah, they can they can kind of close on you really quickly though, so just keep that in mind. 
Okay, so I will. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Well, I can't bring these guys forward, so I gotta bring them back. Yeah, that's fine. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna leave these guys where they are. That's fine. That's fine. Blast! They're stronger than I supposed. Eric sucks. I love oh, this guy. He's just like, nope. <laughs> I'm supposed to leave my son behind? You're still an old man. You've got semen. Don't worry about it. Jesus. Have you seen Robert Black De Niro? Man. He's still going. That's basically what he says. <laughs> your nose, your nose. Has Robert De Niro you can, face. you can nose, you can nose fuck somebody in the future. Damn. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That sounds great. You can't mean my son, my home. I'm to abandon them. <laughs> your son's not gonna live, dude. I'm gonna slice his throat open and fuck it. No. Yeah. Wow, holy crap. <laughs> what he said. Hey, no galloping. Good miss. Dummy. Why didn't you hit twice, Bart Ray? Whoa. Okay. Ow. Okay. I'm surprised guy didn't double that guy. Yeah, same. Oh no. Oh god. He's got 35. There you go. It's not good though. Human. That's bad. That's a bad crit. Well. Yeah. Okay. No one. Yeah, another gonna guy win. could ride up, right? Theoretically. But luckily, there's nobody there. That was a good crit. When do you start getting mend? Uh, the person you get this chapter uh, comes with it, but uh, I think you might be able to buy it on this chapter. But it's coming up soon. I actually don't use mend staffs very often. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually heal staffs usually cut it mm -hmm. because you don't want to heal when you're very low. You want to heal when you're a lot of times when you're just hurt at all. Uh, or just using a full like recover or physic or something like that. Men yeah. might be the least used staff for me. I love physic. My yeah, favorite. physics are really good. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're kind of tricky to get in this game, but yeah, they're a little, little finicky. Mm -hmm. Which again is it, it's annoying that they make them a little tricky on the tricky side to to get because it kind of just bars off new players from accessing them. Yeah. And it just. I don't know. It's whatever. Will is going to have them, though, so it doesn't matter. Oh, what am I going to have? Uh, physics staffs, so which fun. are ranged healing staffs. Ooh. Oh, oh, was ranged healing in something else? It's an epi eight. It's an epic game. Okay. Uh, besides, maybe I think the first three it may even be in the third game. It's actually appears very early in the series, by the way. Laos. Laos. Oh yeah, no one can move in the rain. Apparently. Yeah, because the rain. Yeah, the rain sucks. They tried to teach you that in uh, Lin mode because it's an, a mechanic that shouldn't exist. Ooh, it's just dumb. Okay. Um, I made a huge mistake. Oh. You can check his movement. Yeah. Well, okay, it's not the worst mistake. Nah, you're fine. She's not gonna die. He's not. He can't hit Sarah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's everyone. Can you imagine if we had to move like this in real life? <laughs> you could only move like like twenty feet at a time. But also, everyone in the world had to make their move before you could make and the next before move. Before you could go. <laughs> 
Oh, we got strength on uh, Gi. That's pretty good. G oh, I kept. Is it Gi? I always just. Say I, it's guy. technically Gi. I just say guy. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I remember. Well. <laughs> it took me a while to find out how to say Laura or Shell. I used to say uh, Ray or Shell. It was bad. Which one? Ray. Ray. The girl from FE8. Probably one of my favorite top 10 favorite characters in the entire series. Uh, the healer. Um, she's got like a French fucking name and it's got an apostrophe in it. And I was like, I don't know how to fucking say this name. So. Come on, Hector. Defense. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Kaboosh! Mush. Look at that headband. Give me that headband. Not many people are rocking the 80s let's get physical outfit with the fucking mustard stain on it. I love it. Hell yeah. More people need to, though. Okay, fuckers. <laughs> Any of these? Fuckers. <laughs> I, you know, the more I think about it, the more I think that's probably my favorite. I think it's it's think it's up there. It. It's definitely top three. It's so uh, and the ending with the mom. Did <laughs> you the, make any new and friends? The, and all the Jesus stuff. You just that's when you realize the whole thing is just so good. It's so it's absurd. It's good. <laughs> These fuckers. Trying to heal anyone? I should probably. Yeah, Guy. Guy, whatever you want to fucking call. Guy. Let's go with gay. gay. Gay? Why are you gay? Gay will always remind me of the MXC. Uh, oh, the uh, guy. The MXC the guy? Yeah. Is the reporter? It's Guy LaDouche. So good. So yeah, funny. I love that show. <laughs> <laughs> that show, it's funny. It's that show and the original actual Takeshi's Castle. Uh, both fantastic. Yeah, they're very good. Yeah. It's, they're great. We watched and, them. And, uh, on New Year's Eve. Oh, it's, it's, my it's, I think Amazon has them all. Yeah. Um, fantastic show. <laughs> I'm going to watch that after this. <laughs> right you are, Ken. <laughs> right you are, Ken. It's I just like so how they... What, what do they have? Who's the uh, the guy they have every fucking uh, episode? They have one member of their family. Oh, what are they called? There's like Dark a... The, the, the contestant, they have like a contestant from like one family almost every time. I forget the name of oh, it. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't think of who it is either. Yeah. Um, and then the get it on. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I might go watch an episode after this. It's so good. Okay, it's still raining here in Spain. I don't know why I keep attacking them. I'll let them attack. Was this the last round of reinforcements? Um, I don't think there's any more of the. Pirates. There might be no. There should be Pegasus Knights still coming. Yes. Um. Yeah, you can kill this guy with whoever you want. Yep. No, I I just I wanted to check the numbers because I wanted to know if he uh if he could just weaken them and then I could get the XP with one. Okay. I'm afraid to move anyone else up because once the rain clears, all of these guys can moves. Up. The rain clears at the beginning of your turn, okay. so it's it's never you're fine. You always have a chance to react and move them backwards. So you can move them up like a space or two and be fine. Okay. I would up. probably be careful though, because all of the people who are north, no offense, none of your good people. Your well, good people two? are. No, no, like, your mi the middle section people are your okay people. Your Hector's, move Hector's at the bottom. Yeah, I'm worried that, like, Marcus will literally kill all of those guys. No, I mean, over. like, move him, like, move him towards the center. Yeah, you can move him, Ooh, you can Marcus? move him to the grass, move him to the grass, and then he can reconvene with the group at the center. This grass? Yeah, yeah that's fine. 
and then next turn he can kind of re meet up. And you yeah, think I should bring Hector up? Yeah, you've already kind of defended the pirate a little bit, but I'd well, probably... But there's, there's way more. There's, yeah, there is, but you can... spawn you... like four more. Right, but Guy can get down there. More. Yeah, four more. Yeah. Guy can move down there. You can sub out. There you go. Perfect. And he, he what deals a sub. with those. He, do, he, he deals with those guys very well because obviously. The stub above. As long as he's fully healed, which I think okay. he is. Do I have to worry he's... about this guy? Eventually? No, he mm. doesn't. That guy can't destroy the village. Only he pirates have an enemy. hands. Yeah, yeah, they don't. Nah, this guy is casualty of war. Yo, that's his fault for you know trying to attack an entire village and destroying it in one go. I wish I could do that. Orange guy. This is the one orange guy. We've got our scouting. Oh no, this is the broken guy. <laughs> our scouting report says don't attack this man. What? Damn. Leave him wanting. So uh, <laughs> Fe Fe7's unit quality. Uh, is famous for being fucking bad, uh, but notorious for being very slow. Uh, their speed, besides the very fast classes, usually is around like 11 or 12 effective speed, like until you get more towards the late game, which is just bad. Your guys usually will hit like 14, 15 pretty quickly, so. See if you can bring Marcus down. Yeah, you probably can. Probably want Hector in range of uh, some of these calves coming up because he did, he he deals with them really well. And then Marcus can also be in range of them too. There you go. There you go. I would just move low and backwards at this point. There's no point in guarding that village. You already got it anyway. Oh, he's yeah. a vulnerable. Well, he's... I guess you don't really have to. I can get him down this. Side. Here comes Gee, dude! Ah, ah. Ah. Play some dice. Nice. Imagine okay. if you stab someone, they disappeared and then They're reappeared and then blinked out of existence. We would never know a murder happened. It's just like the leftovers. What happened to my dad? He got <laughs> stabbed. Actually, he went to go get milk, but. <laughs> Same thing. You know he's still out there. <laughs> We know he's... He's not gone, I swear. Gone, but not forgotten. Yeah, you can move him back up. Get healed or something like that. <laughs> Get healed, Stop. loser. Get healed, Get loser. Healed. Okay, I'm gonna have uh, Elliewood close. Uh, Elliewood also can fight the pirates, or you can have... Yeah, he's... Well, I was Matthew gonna have or... him close to, like, mop up. Okay. After these cats. I, I like that. I like that. Cool. I like that. I like that. I like this guy. Chico. Uh -oh. I like that. He's got a horse slayer, but you know the best thing about horse slayers in this game, instead of triple effect on this, you know what they are? Double. Ooh. So my lance. It did seven damage. You're actually gonna one round this guy because he's a fucking loser. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> oh, me. So you, had, um, you had Matthew, right? What do you mean? You, we have... you have Matthew on this on this map? Yeah, yeah. you do. Do you? Can steal some stuff. Uh, I don't know if anybody has any droppable stuff in this map. Maybe like Vulnaries. But... Ooh, I got a horse's lair. Yeah, they're running up towards the uh, your tent now. That's some tent. Get away from Marcus. It's so the reason, the reason they're attacking Marcus is sometimes enemies are coded just to do the most damage, and I think they do less damage to Hector than they do to Marcus, which is crazy. But or. They have a higher hit rate or something like that. It's a mix. So they only have like a 35% chance to hit Bart Ray. <laughs> oh, which is so crazy. Marcus is going to miss a 99 via homie. <laughs> Probably not. You meant. I wish. By the way, Unicorn over, uh, Overlord, really fun. I still recommend it. You know, I downloaded the demo. Um, yep. I just need, like, I was, I tried, so I was watching, um, I forget what we were watching, it's like some TV show, and mm -hmm. I was trying to be like, oh, I wonder if Unicorn Overlord would be a good TV show game. 
Uh, but then I was trying to go through the tutorial while doing something else, and I was yeah. like, oh. I need to like sit down, go through the tutorial, and then and you then, can, yeah, like do the stuff later on. Um, yeah. You still okay. playing Bellatro? Uh, yeah, Karen is addicted to it, so uh, she uses the Steam Deck uh, when we're on the couch watching TV. I'm actually uh, just waiting for it to come out on on iPhone, because like that's like yeah, that'll my be interesting. ideal way to play that. Um, I wonder if they'll change, like, the, yeah, I don't know, but she has like 72 hours in that game. She's oh my playing gosh! It. Oh my she's, gosh! 72. She's like only almost done with most of the decks on every difficulty. She's like working yeah. through. Um, so I've been using my Mew Mini Plus, and I've been playing Breath of Fire 4, which is a JRPG, uh, which has been fantastic. It is such a like pick up and put down JRPG. Yeah. And the Mew Mini Plus has a great sleep feature so uh, it's great I've been it's cool. cruising through that game it's very cool. yeah you you sent that picture of you playing it and i was like do i want to buy one of because it's so cheap i was like do i want to buy one of these for this trip and i just decided to bring my switch um also i refunded battlefront <laughs> oh wow <laughs> on steam and i i need to try and refund it through the nintendo store if i can i don't know if i can I've never tried uh, to do that. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, so as per, yeah, Will's plan, and I quote, exact wordage, I'm going to have Ellie Wood hang out so he can clean up. Oh, yeah, I was wondering if I need to, if. Nah, focused? there's nobody over here that can hurt Ellie Wood besides the You're good. Guy. Yeah, he's fine. Rapier him. <laughs> it's a tough word. It's French. Ah, oh, the French. It's, oh, the French. Um, you could have Marcus probably go south, honestly, and kind of just go shopping and make sure your escort go, bottom go side is. Yeah, go downtown. What's up? Downtown. Can you go outside. All right, hold on. I gotta go let Nightwing out. Into the night, I hunt. I can still hear you. Justice. I just can't see you. <laughs> Come on. In a world. Okay. Um. Is this it? These four boys? Uh, no. There's eight enemies left. There's guys. There's pirates from behind. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh, That's all. You I can, like them. Yeah. You like start from behind with that do rag. Uh. They came from right behind. We have I'm playing right now. What's up, Blue Water? Oh, is that Bellatro? Yeah. Oh yeah. my God! That's oh, oh. that's Karen playing Bellatro, right? <laughs> Wait, why? What? Why did you say that? Because she, she, she typed in chat. Oh, oh, sorry. It would be helpful <laughs> well, if I looked at the chat right. window. Sorry, I didn't have it up. <clears throat> um, yes, you are playing Bellatro right now. That makes sense. Um, so you can you have a couple options to present it to you. You can run uh, uh, Matthew, Irk, and like uh, just a bunch of people to the right that aren't doing anything. Um, you can run Irk to the left to clean up. I just don't notice something. What is got who who's far left? Is that is that Dorcas or Barre? This is Dorcas or Barre. What's the Mermit on speed? Who's the merman on this guy? That dude, yeah. So much speed. speed. What's the speed? What's up, Campfire Knight? Hi, Campfire Knight. What's I this dude? What's this guy's speed? I Campfire Knight Why? every night. Oh, not that bad. Okay. Wait, 13. where's oh, ten? Oh, you're I afraid think... he's gonna kill. Part right. That guy plus. Uh, uh oh, guy this... plus an axe guy. Axe guy's not gonna reach him. Yes, he will. This guy? Yeah, you can reach him. Why is he gonna reach? Oh, cause he's gonna go where the archer is gonna move out of the way and shoot yeah, you. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I think you're fine. I mean, there's nothing you can do about Why it. I right kill now. the archer. You can try the hand axe, yeah. Sixty-four. I've tried made worse bets in my life. Fuck you, now, Iron now, Bow. Now you're probably for sure good. Uh, but you should send some people to the right to 
You have Oswin over there anyway, but... Yeah. Uh, if you want Urk to get any XP, yeah, you can send him to the right. And Do I want Urk to get XP? Do you? Yeah. He's on the map Do anyway. I... Um, you're eventually going to have to make some choices uh, eventually on who you're looking to get XP. We're on an easier mode, so we can kind of balance it a little bit. And... You know, give a lot of chances to different people and try different people out. Uh, we could talk about Urk in context of how good he is eventually. Um, he's fine. Could probably find a good. Because he has strange weapon one or two. Uh, and he can use staffs. Uh, Urk is pretty solid. I always think that... Basically, in the context of this game, there's three guys. There's a dark mage, a light mage, and a uh, normal mage, which is Urk. And I think they all balance each other. They all have positives and negatives about them. Ooh, uh, you have Marcus running to the village, though. It's fine. So have Marcus go to the village. Yeah, you'll be fine. He's slowed down by the trees. Perfect timing. That guy was... Okay, you're good. Uh, but in general... So... Uh, each, the, each, like I said, the, the mage, the light mage, and the dark mage all have their positives and negatives. I... And the reason they're compared to each other is usually they're one of your first guys who gets the promotion item. So you need to make a decision usually pretty early on like who you're going to focus on. I personally think Urk is the worst of them, but that doesn't mean he's bad. It actually is just... It's my preference in terms of whatever, but... I could definitely see people going the other way. That was nice with the weekend. I like that. Look at this guy giving Elliwood kills. Oh, I'm so happy that I hit. Yeah. Um... Oh, nice. I would probably send somebody else down south. Uh, maybe... Uh, to help Guy? Not necessarily to help Guy, but you can go shopping before the mission ends. Oh, uh oh, oh. Give him some moral support. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave these boys here. Uh, well, make sure guy. when you're going up north, like... Oh, you're gonna draw some of these guys over, yeah. So, cause you don't want them to just clobber Urk. But you basically have the mission done. You just need to final finalize it here. can either go down south or um, go to the right and help out. Yeah, I was going to send them to the right as a cool. then tractor. Somebody else can help go shopping. When you step on a Lego, uh, send, send Urk, or not Urk, a uh, guy to go shopping, just so you have somebody going down there. Send who? Oh, Guy. guy. Well, He's why a... can't I have Guy? Well, Isn't somebody needs to go Dorcas. Yeah, you can send Dorcas. As long as it's one of those two that goes down south. I was south. sending Bart Ray and Dorcas. Or the cool. two guys that go there. Yeah, just, the shopping center right there at the, the mall was right there. Urk. 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 Can I hear it for an Urk? Urk sounds like a fucking seal noise. Urk, 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 Urk. The good news is, I believe, if technically the mission ends before you talk to the village, you still get the recruitment, as long as it just doesn't die. But you're gonna get it right now. Uh, I personally think this character is insane. Uh, good value, you get a lot of... Uh, mounted healing is just very good. Uh, you can 
get to a lot of places much quickly or much quicker, obviously. And she recruits a lot of people. The only problem with her is she has a weird interaction with her brother. So she she's got a she's she's got a, a uh, written by George R. R. Martin. She's got an Erica Ephraim going on. Oh, can I just situation. go to the wait? You can go there. Which armory? Yep. And now you have a since you have a convoy, you can actually um, you know, buy as much as you want. So I saw that you didn't have any iron axes. So you probably should get like like six of those. Six Maybe six to seven. Yeah, a lot of them. Because you got a lot of people you can use axes in your armor. You got like your mounted units can use them. Uh, yeah, I'd get some swords and then the, and then you'll be good. Yeah, because like Hector using axes, <clears throat> that's probably good. How many lances do you think I should get? Uh, that'll be you, what you have is probably good for now. Okay. Okay. Maybe one, maybe one more lance. One more lance. One more lance, yeah, and then I'll be good. Perfect. Welcome, and there's, man. yeah, and then you can also go to the shopping center with uh, Dorkis. 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 And I'd probably pick up a fire. And then you'll be good. Uh oh, it's fucking Elliewood time! Finish him. God, Elliewood is so bad. I hate him. He's, he's the type of guy. Fine. <laughs> no, no, he's not. Elliewood's fine. He is he is the most two and a half stars out of five stars you can be in this game. <laughs> uh his promotion's actually pretty good too. He gets a horse. Clap. Anytime you get a horse in this game is a very good thing. Free horse? horse. Free horse. Level, 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 level. Well, that's pretty decent. Feed and res. Nice. And. Oh, nice. Exact kill. You handle this champ uh, chapter like a boss, dude. You know, I, uh, I'm self-taught, and I'm getting used really to good. it now. <laughs> He's going in. Going in, like Jin. Uh, you probably can you kill these guys. Them. I think both these guys on this turn. Well, I was going to have... What do you think? Yeah, I think what you could do is have Urk attack the guy on the right, and then Oswin can ship him. You want to weaken them for Earth? Oh, I see what you Have Oswin. And then Matthew can chip the guy for Rebecca. Oh, that yeah, would that hurt works. so much, man. <laughs> you, yeah. you think? Yeah. I'm t I think Elliewood would actually be. I don't want to say nuts, but I think he would almost go up. Oh, what? God. That's, that's fine. 84 piece of crap. Elliot would actually go up half a star if the rapier had uh, three times uh, effectiveness as opposed to just uh, to just two. Good job, Rebecca. Gotta keep you uh, in shape so you can produce good children. Her child sucks. But she is helpful for one of the other children. <laughs> She provides a lot of resources. <laughs> <laughs> gallons Natural. of resources. <laughs> gallons, gallons of resources. I like how that's what it specifically says about Rebecca. Uh, well, it doesn't say that like, about her. No, it's you just, said that about her. <laughs> it does because in FE six is like manual. So one of your one of your starting characters in FE six is um is her child. And he's an archer and it mm -hmm. says that the archer's like description is him and uh roy are milk brothers i'm like okay oh 
I mean, so, that's just yeah. a common phrase. No, it is not a common phrase. And, like medieval phrase, yeah. Yeah, because you know why? Because, because... they breastfed a lot of babies. But yeah, it was sure. also because it wasn't always the mother who breastfed them. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah. I don't want to spoil it, but Roy's mom... It's like cats. No. Yeah. yeah. Will it's knows like I pick up my milk, milk from cat. a different woman down the road. It's <laughs> yeah. not my mom shipping it. <laughs> she ships it. Oh, this. so this guy, interestingly enough, I think there's only like... This is one of the few times in the entire series... That you do not kill the boss of this chapter. Uh, he just oh, he actually didn't lives. Die. No, he lives. Uh, Cause he like he's like, bah, I'll tell you where my dad went. <laughs> but he's he's mad salty. Uh, I don't know why I, lives. I button through these because I don't pay attention, and then Jason just explains it later anyway. Yeah, I can just do it really quickly. He it's just like, basically tells I'm just you going through the motions. Went. It's because he one time I accidentally skipped the cutscene and Jason got mad at me. I mean, well, During, uh, the, I mean, the thing is, none of these guys are the real bad guys, no, so like, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the, that guy, what that guy told you is, a, he told you where his dad, like his dad, like joined or is meeting up with some shady figures, but he also said that Ellie Wood's dad is the ring, uh, the ring leader of like the um, mutiny, essentially. What? Yeah. Poor Stash dad, no. Dad. Well, this guy, I mean, that guy also is a bad guy, so he could just be lying. Uh oh. Noble He's... Lady of Kaylin. You know who that is? <clears throat> oh, no. Linda. What? <laughs> Got a blast. <coughs> uh, this chapter is way too long. Uh, we would not be. Yeah, to I was going to say, okay, okay, we won't get to it. Uh, no, do we want? I can skip this. We want to just look at the layout. Yes, because there's a lot to go, a lot to go over this chapter. Actually, this might be the chapter uh, you get the most characters in the entire game. So you uh, get a lot just of characters. Dump all the. Oh, 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 oh! This is a very annoying chapter for a lot of reasons too. Uh, you can decide on who you want to bring after we go into a little bit more. I wouldn't focus on it too heavily. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna go in. Um, right. There's a lot going I, on in this chapter. Yeah, so if I save here. Yep, and press start, you'll be fine if you restart start, chapter. Okay. Hey, he became good level job, six. Yep. Hell yeah. Okay. So there's a lot going on. Number one, you might recognize somebody near your starting army that is one of your favorite characters uh, so far in this game. It's your girl, <gasps> Florina. She is back, yeah. Uh, obviously, oh. she's cracked as she is Jax. You, she's insane. She's probably your best unit besides Marcus now, if you look at her stats. Because you look at that. <laughs> oh she's man, yeah, she's perfect. So she's back, and she was. What? Why she's over here is she was trying to like alert you from like what's going on at the castle. And if you look mm -hmm. in the bottom right. You'll see a lot of other familiar faces, too. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lynn, <laughs> Kent, <laughs> Sane. Yeah. Oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, sorry. Oh, I oh. can't believe you let <sighs> yourself be tainted by... <sighs> Man, it's just mm. like it's just a weird thing. I'm sick, remember? So it's just a weird, <laughs> weird thing that happened. Anyway, the, so those guys are back, but they're cut off from the rest of your army, so it's gonna be kind of scary. Um, and then Victor. <laughs> uh, but Lynn should be actually pretty leveled up now. If you'll notice something about Lynn's inventory, um, she has a gem that changes what? based off uh, how much like money you had in your previous one. I think that's the lowest amount you can get. So. Unfortunately, we didn't do too well in Lin mode in terms of our finances, but that's my fault. I mean, it's teachers. a good thing because you don't really need money in this game. <laughs> like, yeah, money is a plenty. You actually have a lot of yeah. money in this game, and the items are worth more than the money. A and AKB, pirates uh, come from here at some point. No, probably? no. <laughs> actually, surprisingly, not. So this is a seas gate. Yes. Which means the boss probably won't move at all. He won't move. Lots of horse boys. Lots of in between. 
Um, I'm probably gonna... Oh, sorry. The most annoying thing on this chapter, I think, besides your army being split up and the people in the bottom right being compromised mm -hmm. a little bit, is there should be a ballista person uh, in the middle. I think it's to the right. Uh, they might have taken out on... Okay, cool. I did not know that. So on Elliewood hard mode, there is no ballista person, so that's really nice. On Hector hard oh, mode, he's there. I hate ballistas. Yeah, he's... That archer murders Bill <laughs> very often. There's also Pegasus Knights that fly down. Could be worse. They aren't. Could be worse. Could be could be anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> but it you're, could you're be an actual your, loss. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get all your you're gonna get a chunk of your Lin people back right now. So that's kinda cool. Okay. So Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm gonna think about this. I'm kind of excited. Are there a lot of reinforcements on this one? Yes. Uh, there's guys that come from behind you uh, that attack your tent. Oh, great. So I'll leave... Where you are, where your starting spot. They come on, like, turn seven or eight. So you got a little so bit So I'll time. leave Oswin here. Yeah. And then you can, Florina you can and Marcus can run back. They can go back and forth, depending on where you yeah. need them. Okay. Well, folks, if you want to see me dominate this chapter... Then tune in next week, uh, probably Tuesday at 8 p.m. again. Uh, if not, it'll be not then. So keep an eye on our Discord and our Twitter for the schedule. Nightwing won't be there, uh, Sadly but not. it's a sh it's she, right? Oh. She'll be in our hearts, oh. uh, which is wonderful. Um, Jason and Kyle, thank you so much for being here. Campfire Night, Karen, Halucha, thank you for being in chat. You killed it, lovely this chapter, to have by the way. You, you really all did. here. Aww. You did good. You that actually killed it. Special. Um, I you know I killed it, I killed it. You hear that, mom? I killed it. Uh, we'll be back uh, Thursday with. <laughs> oh, sorry. With more love chat. Hopefully, I'm <laughs> not coughing anymore. Wow, you didn't even. Look I also. At Will. You didn't even look at Will for that cough. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I also pulled something in my neck carrying Costco groceries last night. Um, ah, folks, uh, don't get old. Uh, and I'm younger than everyone here, but don't get old. <laughs> um, we'll be back Thursday with local chat. I'm excited because we missed last week due to my illness. Um, that's not, that makes sense. It's serious. Uh, and uh, I want to talk about D Dragon's Dogma 2. It's so fucking good. I just want to fuck that game all the time. It's dirty little hole dragon's hole oh my god it's so good sorry everyone uh so we'll be back thursday for local chat and then this weekend ian's gonna be playing some dragon's dogma i believe sunday at noon uh i'll be there to join him to guide him through the world it's... he's gonna complain about something and then uh i'll talk him off the ledge of refunding the game um jason you can find at the green eight ball over on twitch i see him streaming oh. all the time i've yet to tune in but someday, ever. you know, someday I will. Ever. Um, ever. Wow. Uh, I, uh, yeah. We'll, so we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, and Kyle, at Kyle the Beard, you can find him all wonderful places like Twitter and LinkedIn and hire him. And thank you. Um, <laughs> Thanks. This is, uh, this is another lovely production brought to you by Subpixel. Subpixel, that's Subpixel team. Bye, everyone. I'll miss you. Bye. Love to all.